I should be writing number 474 for Monday, January 13th, 2020. Well, I should be writing. I should be working on my Hi there, welcome to I Should Be Writing, the podcast for wannabe fiction writers. I'm your host, Mer Lafferty. And I'm reaching an age where I'm trying to figure out how, like, what, what among my, pro, my, my idiosyncrasies I can change. Like, what I just have to accept as a part of me and what's a bad habit that can be changed. And it's hard to identify these things. But one of the things I have is um, I have trouble switching gears in the middle of a day. I need a brain reset. I've talked about how to deal with rejection before and specifically how to deal with it, such as, you know, you're going to feel like crap. So give yourself time to feel like crap. Allow yourself some comfort food, some comfort drink, uh, evening to feel sorry for yourself. And then the next day you get back to work. And I've found, at least for me, if I allow myself, I say, okay, you you inner six-year-old, you have a set amount of time to pout. And when the timer goes off, you're done. And I found this works very well for me. Because sometimes when I fight it, and I think, well, that sucked, must soldier on, I don't work very well. I need that break of... Okay, well, that was sad. Reset. Let's go. So, yesterday morning, I had insomnia. I woke up at 6, couldn't get back to sleep, started an audiobook, became interested in the audiobook, realized that I should not be going to sleep, trying to sleep with an interesting audiobook. So, I just decided to get up, and I remembered I had a short story that was late. And so, I finished it. And I was very proud of myself. I even had time to work out actually made good use of the time. However, I then took my daughter to school, came home, took a shower, ready to start the rest of the day, and I need to rewrite a book. So I pulled that up and my brain said, nope. And I fought with it for a while. And my brain said, look, Twitter. And I wasted a lot of time on Twitter. I just realized that my brain had decided that I had uh, finished a project and you know just like when you get rejected you need to take a moment to reset when you have a triumph which usually is something big like finishing a book you take a moment to reset and my brain said we finished a short story well that certainly wasn't the length of time it takes to write a book but still yay us It's break time. And I'm thinking, this was all done before 8 a.m. What am I going to do for the rest of the day if you're not going to help me? And I got a little bit done, but this is one of the reasons why I didn't get a podcast done. That in a poorly placed meeting. But really, it was just, I could not tell whether I just need to accept this about myself and plan accordingly, like I do for rejections, Or if this is a bad habit that I can move past. I have friends that switch gears constantly. They'll work in the morning on one project and then they'll work in the evening on another project. But I don't think I can work on two projects on a day. Somehow my brain needs to reset. I need to untap all the cards. I need an upkeep phase. I've been playing a lot of board games lately. And I realize if I do accept this about myself, then... Like with rejections, I should be able to plan accordingly and continue just to make room for it. Try not to finish a project before 8 a.m. if I want to get anything else done that day. Or maybe I'm just allowing my, my subconscious to do stupid stuff and I'm not fighting hard enough. I don't know. It's weird. I'm going to be going to Confusion this week. I'll be in Detroit. And if you're there, please come say hi. I am going to be 
doing some uh, interviews. I've got, I will take my recorder. I don't know if my computer is going to talk to the Wi-Fi or not. I don't know if I'll be able to record, but I'll certainly try. Um, if I can get my head on straight and think up four episodes, I will try to do a batch tomorrow and release them for the rest of the week, but I don't know. I'll be arriving in Detroit Thursday afternoon. Really looking forward to this one. It's a really fun, small con that a lot of pros go to. And also, Detroit in January, it's fairly cheap because no one wants to go there. But if you're around, come say hi, please. But I do need to think up another podcast, and I need to get some writing done today because I've spent most of the day recording ditch diggers and being on the phone. So contact me at mightymer.gmail.com or see my website at mervers.com. Support the Patreon if you want to help me keep the lights on, patreon.com slash mightymer. And I'll see you tomorrow because you should be writing. Remember, you can support the show at patreon.com slash mightymer. I should be writing the theme music provided by John Emilio. You can find more about him at johnemilio.com. This podcast is distributed under a Creative Commons Attribution Share Alike license. But I should